He's about to grab it. He's right on top of it now. Like, he's an inch away. He's got it. Got him. Oh, God. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another North Star Fishing video. Today, we are out in the middle of the woods. Took a long drive to get here, but I found a pond with smallies in it. Somehow, they are on beds right now. So, um, yeah, it is uh, late May, so that explains it. But, yeah, we're going to try to sight fish a few of them with plastics and then chuck a little plastics around, see if we can catch any other ones. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to it. All right, so this is risky, but I got a little little uh, tiny 1 16th ounce jig head with my ultralight six pound test and this tiny little minnow profile. I'm gonna see if I can flip this little jig on his bed, see if he'll come eat it. The only thing about this is I barely have any backbone in this rod, so if I do hook him, there's a good chance that he could get off. All right, I see him on the bed right now. Looked at it. Oh, here you go. He's on it. Oh, he's got it. Got him. On the ultralight. He grabbed it. Got him hooked, top of the lip pretty good. Oh, come here, buddy. Got him. Small on a bed right there. Sweet. Hook just pops out just like that, guys. Boom, look at that. Like a, what is that, one pounder? All right, we'll get him back here. See you later, bud. That was sweet. His bed's right here, I'll back up a little bit, let him come back. But there's first one of the day. Sight fished on a bed. Six pond test. Let's go. There he is, as you maybe can't see or can't see. Smallmouth came back to his bed after I caught him, so that's a good sign. As long as you get him back quick, doesn't do anything. See another smallie on a bed right here. Let's see if we can catch him. So his bed is right there. There is this uh, tree branch coming down in the way here. Just pulled a tick off me. I'm kind of just walking through the long grass here. So we're gonna see if we can uh, flip our little plastic down on his bed, get him to bite. He's on it. He's staring it down right now. He's back on it. He's about to grab it. He's right on top of it now. Like, he's an inch away. Got it. Got him. Oh God. No, I lost him. He's still there. He doesn't know what happened. Oh my gosh. He just smoked it. Like, he's an inch away. Got it. Got him. He has no idea what just happened. He just stopped like super confused. Came back to the bed. He's inspecting the bait right now. It's just sitting on his bed. He's gonna eat it. He might grab it again. He grabbed it again. He grabbed it again. Got him. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's like a two pounder. He grabbed it again. Oh God. Oh no, he's wrapped. There we go, got him out. He grabbed it again, finally. There we go, buddy. Yes, we got him. Second smallie, let's go. It's a little bit bigger. Off the bed, finally. That took a long time to catch him, but that was sweet. Bait fell out. Hook is out. Sweet, let's go, guys. Now he's back on the bed again. This is sweet. Let's go. Little small, I just grabbed this thing. Just chucked it out there. Immediately, he grabbed it. So, this last year's spawn, looks like there's a bunch of them that size. There's a bluegill. Oh, it's pre-spawn, look at that. Thick.
What the? Oh my gosh, it's a baby smolly. Look at this thing. So the, the pond is like flooded and it just flooded this little area back here. So there's this little channel that's like one quarter of a foot deep. And I guess this little smolly swam back in here, but it's kind of cool. See you later, bud. All right, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this, for this day. I did only catch four little smallies, so we might come back another day this year for day two. I'm back, boys, but I got bad news this time. Apparently, I've heard from a friend that the fish that live in here are all going to die because the people who live on the pond who used to aerate it have now moved and there's new owners and they aren't aerating it anymore. So all these fish in here are probably going to die because they don't have any oxygen. So I figured I'd come back one more time and wax more pond smallmouth. One's waking up, one's waking up. Oh my god, oh my god, I got him. Did you see that? Did you guys see that? I watched this smolly wake on it from like 10 feet away. I somehow hooked him with a treble on the side of the gill. There he is, just a little wee little dude. I don't want to get hooked. Let's get the hook out of him. That was crazy. Okay, so they're still in here, luckily. It's just a tiny little guy, but. Toss him back. That fish, try to see if I can get this accurate. He was way over there by those lily pads. He swam 10 feet and hit it right there. That was pretty wild. Oh, right there. Little guy just tried to hit it. Just probably a baby smalling. Oh, there he is again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Giant. That was way bigger than the other ones. I watched him come out and smoke it. Come on. Eat it again. Oh my god, he eat it again. He eat it again. He eat it again. Dude. How did I miss him both times with the wobber plopper? He destroyed it. Three time? Come on. Oh my gosh, this fish is insane. Got him! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! He threw it. He threw it. It was like a one and a half, two pounder. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? That was insane. Walker Plopper's way back here. Guys, look at what I just found. You can see that right there. That is a bed from a smallmouth. From three four months ago so i didn't even walk this far i stopped right about there um so if i would have kept walking like 20 more feet when i fished it in the spring could have caught this fish off a of bed too and i walked out so i can cast a little bit more peril to the bank because that seems to what be how i'm getting the bites all right guys well i can't go any farther and i haven't got any more bites on the water plopper so if you guys do want to see me come back with the fly and try to catch some smallies on the fly in this pond uh, before they all do die this winter which is, I'm assuming it's what's, what's gonna happen because they're really lacking oxygen here. The only thing keeping them alive is these dead weeds and the lily pads. So drop a like if you guys wanna see me come back with the flyer on and catch some smallies on the top water. Probably just use a hopper or something like that. And uh, thank you guys for watching.